All right, guys, this is another what not to do with Castro Bros, right? All right, bad boy, I'm, I'm talking a little bit less loud because there's people doing lessons right next to us. You ever see that drill that is like another tee with another ball at the same side? The goal in this drill is try to hit this ball to hit the other ball. The problem with that that I have is you creating a bad pad, a bad bad pad. This is what I'm what the people try to do with this with this uh, drill. Try to hit the ball, and what you're trying to do is try to hit the other ball and stay in the same level right here. So basically, what they telling the kids just hitting a land right, but land right to work to the pitcher, land right to somebody so they can catch it. That's what we're working for. No. People stop being scared to hit doubles and, and home runs. You have to work something to make it happen. It used to be before, yeah, you want to hit the ball in the ground, so in the game, your home run happened. That probably happened 10, 20 years ago when nobody got the right technology and understand what is the barrel behind the ball or how to turn the barrel because now we can analyze your video and your mechanics and make it work. Make it work. So this is the goal. It's so hard for me to try. I'm basically trying to get that land right over there, right? For me, I don't do this. I don't do this. I don't do that crap. I can't even hit a throwing. Me to hit like this land right over here, I have to hit the ball. When the ball coming in, in this angle, I have to hit the ball like this. I'm trying to stay almost like in this plane or like a I try to manage my, myself to go down to the ball kind of thing. That's bad muscle memory. So basically what this create is, you're trying to hit the ball right here, like this, so you can hit a line right like that. And when the ball come in like this, so basically you barrel wanna go into the zone very short and get out of the zone very quick. Don't do that drill, people. I hope you can hear me because I'm a little, I'm a little not loud. My goal is try to, if I don't hit the ball to the middle, I'm trying to hit the ball in this angle. The problem is when you tell this to some people, they thinking that you have to drop your hands and get under and go the ball over there. That's not what I'm trying to say, people. If you think of, for example, somebody hitting on me right now. My child. For that ball, leave the yard, we have to get in the angle. Now put the angle from the side. So you saw the angle from the side, the ball coming down, the barrel meet the ball at the right path. It never was a down angle to meet a ball. If the ball is coming like this, and the bar, the barrel coming like this, then you're gonna have this much to hit that ball. So stop working on that bad path. When I hit, I'm getting used to it, to hit the ball up like that. When I hit the ball up, I didn't drop my hands. I don't go right here and do all this. I don't try to do that. I'm trying to get behind. I'm right here, try to get behind it, and hopefully that land right become a double, or maybe just a single. Maybe you just wanna, okay, maybe you call yourself, I'm not a power hitter. Guess what? If you're not a power hitter, you still have to hit this angle to get the ball behind the infield. And plus, it's not even that. It's about the bat, the, the, the angle of the ball is coming down a little bit, and you're trying to swing here, or like flat, you don't need in the bat, the, 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 the pattern of the ball. So you're not gonna you're gonna be less consistent. Stop working on this drill and try to get the ball in a little up position. I don't try to get lifted. I just try to get behind it and get in a right angle to get singles behind the infield, doubles or hammers. I'm gonna give you some examples. So this is what not to do. I hit another ball. This is the wrong bat pad. You can even see it. If I put it so much, you pay. Try to go down. That's not gonna work. So to create bad muscle memory. This is the right way. I was even too low. So I'm gonna hit the ball to the middle, it's like that. And then with the pitcher speed, you provide that land drive with a great mechanic, then the exit speed is gonna go higher and higher. Maybe you hit it behind the uh, center field or a home run. Don't be scared just because you're little. Try to hit the ball in the ground. When you get older and you're trying to hit the ball in the ground, you're gonna catch up with you. You're not gonna be able to hit the, the big leaguers. They're gonna catch up all those ground balls. They're gonna, you, you're gonna have less consistent with the bare pad because your bat is 
not through the song long enough. It's not about hitting home runs. It's about be smart and logic about the, your bat pad. What are you working? Where the ball coming? Where are my bats going? Okay, I don't swing to the ball. I'm swinging through it. Yeah. And that, I don't even have to jump forward. I don't even have to do too much. I just get in the right bat pad. That can turn to a double. That can turn to a lander just behind the second base. But it's, it's, it's logic, right? You're looking for those. And then, obviously, if you ride the, you know, the right mechanic at some point, you have to get comfortable. You'll be able to hit doubles and home. So if you go to a tryout, they're not going to tell you, hit the ball in the round how many times and see how good you do. They're going to tell you, let me see how you hit. And they're going to see that ball flying out of the field. Or maybe you can hit it gap to gap, landers behind the infield. And that's where they're going to look. So start working, try to hit the ball in the ground. I know some people that work on that just because they're going to, they want to feel something. But it don't make sense to me. I used to do that a lot and that's what I'm here. I want to coach you to be better than me. See, so yeah, subscribe, thank you, follow us, and let us know what you need to know. Thank you for all the subscribers.